This week's Eye on MPI is brought to you by DigiKey, and it's from TDK. That's right. TDK makes some cool sensors. Checking out what the latest new products are from DigiKey, and I saw this nice sensor, and I thought I would show it off. It is the TDK AVD uh, Differential Pressure Module, and what I like about this is I love my sensors, um, but sensors are kind of a pain to use sometimes and tough to mount and, and tough to interface with. And what I liked is um, this is a really all-in-one, ready-to-go, like, board-mountable uh, module that makes it very, very easy if you want to add differential pressure sensing to your product or project and you just don't want to deal with spinning up a board. You want something ready to go um, with I2C for uh, really quick integration. Um, so this is the series, the part number is quite long, but it's, I call it the ABD series. Um, so these are differential pressure sensors. So what would you want differential pressure sensing for? Well, well normally we show off uh, non-differential pressure sensors. And those are, of course, good for um, just, of course, uh, if you are trying to measure pressure in a cavity, um, they're good. Uh, they're also good for determining uh, altitude. Uh, how far you've moved up and down because uh, pressure changes with altitude and you know you can if you subtract the sea level pressure you can determine how high up you are so they're used for um, drones and uh, you know uh, robotics um, watches that tell you you know how many steps you've taken stuff like that differential pressure sensors are different these tend to be used for um, industrial equipment and um, in specific you know a very common example is you have a HVAC system and the HVAC system has a filter um, chances are you have an HVAC system and you, there's a filter in it and the filter keeps dust out of the HVAC so it keeps the HVAC motor from getting clogged with dirt and of course keeps your air clean too. It's a, it's a nice filter for your air. But um, the filter gets clogged up with dirt and dust and then the HVAC has to work harder and harder and harder to push air through the filter. Um, and you're supposed to like check your filter every six months and you know like yeah sure but one, you could forget, or second, maybe you have a building that's so large um, that it's hard to check the filters all the time. Well, a differential pressure sensor, you'd put each prong on one of the sides of the filter, um, and you would notice that the pressure would be much higher on the side that's trying to push the air through the filter. Um, and that differential is what is making it difficult for the uh, HVAC system to work. Um, once it triggers past a certain uh, pressure threshold, uh, maybe you would send an SMS, or maybe it would... Uh, you know, turn on LED or turn on an alarm telling you, hey, it's time to change the filter. So it's the common uh, use for differential pressure sensors. Um, sometimes it can also be used for telling how much liquid is in a vat, you know, by measuring the um, differential pressure from inside or outside, um, you know, an enclosed vat. But yeah, basically that's what it's used for a lot of industrial uh, measurements, not necessarily for altitude measurements. Uh, so this sensor, like I said, what's very nice is that it has I squared C data out. Um, you basically don't even have a register map. You just read four bytes from it and it just spits out uh, the data and um, you just have to shift the data around. There's a little algorithm um, that tells you how to multiply it out uh, and how to linearize it. Um, there's two connectors, so you don't even need to solder. They're JST SH five pin connectors. Um, there's an interrupt telling you when data is ready. Um, I didn't use that. I just connected up ground power clock and data. Um, and uh, wired up to Arduino, wrote the code uh, for the algorithm on the right, and it just worked. It was, it was actually pretty sweet. Uh, here's the code, and I'll, I'll show the demo on the overhead. But you can see it's very short. A lot of it's just shifting a couple of things, doing a few multiplies, um, and out spits out the temperature and pressure. Uh, since it's differential, um, you'll have to determine like what is the max pressure difference you're going to have in your system. Uh, this comes in uh, three types. Oh, can you expand it so I can read it? Because I think it's yeah. 210, sorry, on the right, it says 16, uh, sorry, 1.6 kilo pascals, uh, 10 kilo pascals, and 700 kilo pascals. So depending on the pressures you're measuring, uh, you'll pick different ranges to get the most accuracy and precision. Um, what I like about this sensor is, it's, again, it's a module. Um, especially if you want to like install this in some sort of HVAC filter system and then run the cable for data to someplace else. Uh, it's also daisy chainable. If you want to have multiple sensors, uh, you can do that. Um, but it's ready to go. It's a kind of a fully integrated slim module that's, um, that can be, you know, uh, it's injection molded and ready to, to be um, installed into your 
whatever measurement system you've got. Uh, there's also a step 3D model, and it's nice. It's even got all the coloring for um, the, the module and all that. And best of all, it's in stock. Available in DigiGay. And it's in stock. It's in stock. So let's show the demo real fast. I just um, put together, it was such an, it was like so easy. It took me less than an hour to do this. I've just got my little microcontroller set up here. Let me focus lock. Okay. Uh, I got the OLED and this is differential. So remember, it's, it's not doing the absolute pressure. It's doing the pressure difference between the two prongs. That's why you see it's zero. But if I, if I plug up one, you'll see it's going into negative uh, pressure. And if I plug the other one, it goes into positive pressure. Uh, so this is not calibrated. Um, I can basically just got the data out and this is what popped out. But um, it was very easy to uh, wire it up. I just connected it through I squared C, um, verified the address, read the data, and then calculated out. And then uh, here's one quick question. Is it precise enough for a... A pitot tube? tube. Um, it's 14 bits of data. Um, I don't know off the top of my hand what the pressure differentials are for a, a, a pitot tube um, because I've, I've never flown before. Um, but pilots out there, uh, if any of you know, uh, pop in the chat and say what the, what the differential pressure is. But um, it's quite good. I mean, this is, this is basically a lot of people use analog differential um, pressure sensors. And um, you can use them, but they're kind of a pain to use. And if, again, if you want to integrate this with something like a single board Linux computer, like a Raspberry Pi that you can't buy, um, I squared C will just work. Whereas with analog, it's like suddenly you're getting into like, okay, you have to have an analog front end and you have to do the calculations and there's more wiring. This is very plug and play, like, you know, no external components required. Okay. And that is this week's Eye on MPI. Eye on MPI.